On top of what you just said with his dad being a player agent, it's a lot like drafting a player whose father played in the NHL or a baseball player whose father played in the big leagues. When you grow up around the game and with the elite players in the sport, that is going to make you an even more complete player both on and off the ice. I had a chance to go one-on-one -on -one with General Manager Kelly McCrimmon right after the draft pick, and I asked him about Brisson and looking ahead to day two and what's going on with Marc-Andre Fleury. Kelly, I know that you were going for the best player available. What made Brendan Bassan the best player available? I think a uh, real high skill level and a guy that generates offense is, uh, is a big part of it. It's, you know, real talent. And, uh, you know, really uh, encouraged with uh, his progression as a player. He uh, played in Chicago uh, of the USHL, which is a real good program. He was a, a great player on that team and really has improved, uh, shown really steady improvement. He was at Shattuck St. Mary a year ago uh, and, and wasn't eligible for the draft, but in scouting that team we had you know, opportunities to have viewings on him before he was uh, draft eligible. So really we've watched him for uh, a couple of years and just uh, like, the, like the path he's on, like the direction he's heading, and we expect that he's a guy that will continue to get better and better here as he works towards reaching his ceiling. When you look at Wednesday rounds two through seven and without any second round picks at this moment, what is going to be the focus for the organization? Are you looking to accumulate picks? Are you going with what you got, or are you going to let it play out? And, and what kind of players are you looking for? Uh, well, you, you don't know what you're going to do in terms of uh, acquiring more picks. Uh, you might use a pick to move up. It all depends on how uh, the, drafts on, the draft unfolds. But day two is uh, you know, never as high profile a day as, uh, as the first round of the draft is, but there's a lot of really good players. Uh, that get selected on day two. We have four selections. We'll uh, work to make those count uh, the best <clears throat> that we can. And, uh, you know, I know this is to me a real measure of a good staff is what they do with those uh, picks in, uh, you know, rounds two through seven. So, as you mentioned, no second but two thirds. So, we'll, uh, we'll do our best to continue to add talent to, uh, to the Golden Knight organization. There's been a lot of talk in the media world, of course, with the Fleury potential, the Steven Stamco stuff came up today on the national level. How busy has just conversations and phones, not on those particular, but just in general, have, has there been a lot of talk between general managers, Ron Lee, of potential of doing something? We're, we're just focused on the draft today. And, uh, you know, this is uh, the most important day of the year for our amateur scouts. They work all year for it. And uh, organizationally, not just our own, but across the NHL, uh, you know, you have to be good on draft day uh, if you want to build a successful organization. So uh, that's where our focus has been, and the things that uh, you allude to, uh, we'll get to in time. But you know, we want to support our uh, scouts as they uh, work their way through the draft, and that's what we've been doing. Kelly, thank you very much. Thank you. Well, clearly Kelly McCrimmon not interested in talking about Marc-Andre Fleury or any potential trades, and he can say all he wants that the focus is strictly on the draft. But there are discussions going on for other types of deals with all kinds of NHL clubs around the league. There are reports that the team is looking to see if they have any takers for Marc-Andre Fleury and his $7 million salary cap hit. And then the reports coming out today that the Tampa Bay Lightning may be looking to move Steven Stamkos, and he has a no-trade clause, but said that he'd be interested in going to a team that's a Stanley Cup contender that has a good tax situation, which clearly says Las Vegas. We'll see how all of this plays out in the coming days. Certainly a lot going on besides just the draft. We'll stay on top of it as the Golden Knights hunker down here in their war room for day two coming up tomorrow. We're live in Montana tonight. Kevin Bollinger, Fox 5 News Local, Las Vegas.